Hi, in this video we are going to take a look at some basic examples of how you can use uh, your rectangular select tool. Now, uh, a selection can be used in many ways. One of the ways is to simply select an area of an image, copy that area and paste it somewhere else, maybe on another image or in the same image. Also, a selection can be used to create some kind of a graphic. For example, you can make this selection and create some kind of a graphic. In a second, we'll take a look how to create a simple a web button. Mm. Another way to use a selection is to select an area and then uh, affect only this area. When you have a selection, you can affect only the area within this selection. For example, I have selected only this area now. I'll go to the right layer. Make sure always that you're on the, the right layer. Because you have, if you're on a wrong layer, you will not be affecting what you're seeing on the screen. Let's go here, desaturate. As you can see, I'm only desaturating the area that I have, that I have selected, not the whole image. So this is another, probably, the most important way of using a selection. Let's deselect. Now, let's say we want to uh, duplicate this cable. We can decide to duplicate the layer, but let's see we have something else in the image. We only want to select the cable. We grab our rectangle select tool. We select this cable. We press Control C or go to edit, copy, then go to edit, paste. Then let's create a new layer for this new copy image. Then let's go grab our move tool and move this layer here, for example. And some cool effect we can apply. Let's pick our flip tool, flip it real quick. As you can see, very easily using our rectangular select tool, we managed to create this image. Now let's go to the <coughs> other use of that tool. For example, you want to create some kind of a web graphic, web button, web banner, some other graphic. Also, uh, it doesn't have to be rectangular. You can also subtract, add, subtract from a selection. You can create all kind of crazy looking graphics like this. <laughs> But let's see how we can simply very quickly create a web button. GIMP uh, has uh, presets for that. We will take a look in later videos. We can create buttons here, rounded, simple, beveled buttons. But let's create our own using the rectangular select tool. Let's make a selection. If you want to, you can round the corners a little bit like that. Let's make a new layer for this button. Next, we can fill it with a color. For example, let's fill it with a gradient. Like that. You can also choose to stroke the selection outline by two pixels, let's say. You can also put simple text. Let's say home. Change the color of our text. Deselect. You can see very quickly we managed to create a web graphic. These are some of the ways you can use these two. Only your imagination can stop you from inventing another useful ways. That's it for now. Bye.